Hello and welcome back to Tech It. So today we're going to have a look at the ores and things you can find in all the caves. I've got a few things to show you as well that are naturally more naturally spawning things in the world. Um, so I'm going to make a uh, basic pickaxe and shovel for the minute until we get a bit of cobble. And then as soon as we've got that, I'll upgrade to the stone. Um, so I'm just going to make the basic things. A, sho a basic shovel would be fine for now because we're only going to dig off the top layer. Um, so I will show you uh, what I've found. I'm actually going to make sure I take some wood with me this time so I can make some more tools down there. Um, so, yeah, over here I've found um, a, a nice oil deposit and it's really ridiculously deep as well. Um, I've actually just put some dirt around it so it doesn't flow everywhere. Um, so this is a naturally spawning oil deposit. And, um, you know, it's actually ridiculously far down. It goes all the way down there. And there's actually a massive cave system down there as well. Um, so we really need something to help us breathe to get down there properly. Um, but, you know, for now we should be okay. Um... So, yeah. Um, so we've got our tools we're going to use. Uh, I moved my bed just here as well. I'm just going to quickly make a chest to just put in the things that aren't necessary while we're down there. So things like, um, you know, these saplings and things like that. So just put this down. Um, so we'll take some wood with us. Take the sticks. We'll take the coloured wood that we're not really going to use. Um, just because it's, you know, not really the colour we'll be using for stuff. Um, also, get away, get away. My poking stick. I'm still waiting for this tree to grow, um, so I can show you. I know I did put a picture on it on the uh, video before, but I just wanted to actually show you one properly. So, um, so yeah, I think we'll mine down here. So until I can actually, I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to mine straight down. And because we've got the rending gale, this will be fine to do. But if you don't have a rending gale, don't do it. Um, because the rending gale takes away the full damage. And if you don't have one, it's going to make a hell of a mess. So this is the oil down here. So this is all solid blocks of oil. And then it goes further down. But we won't make it down there without suffocating. So... And um, what I'm going to do is block this off, just like that. Take these blocks away, and then hopefully we'll be able to dig down without too much of an interruption. So let's just get three cobble, and then we'll fly out and go and make ourselves a newer one. Because the stone's okay. Um, but it doesn't last very long. Um, I think shh, I'll make a couple actually just for convenience. Let's just grab some from here because we're not going to keep coming back up. When the game makes things so much easier, right? One, two, three. There we go. So we've got two of those. Now we're good to go. Um, let's go back to the deposit. Just block this back up. And let's go. So there are a ridiculous amount of ores you can get with this, guys, with the mod pack. Things from industrial craft, and there's sim craft, and there's also um, build craft as well. Um, I can actually show you exactly what I'm doing by pressing that key. That's single player commands. That's, I'm just going to use that so I can show you guys um, everything easier. So this here is copper. This is used to make our cables that we're going to be using very, very soon. Um, you need as much of this as you can possibly get because it is used so much. Um, you need to yeah, get an absolute ton of this stuff. Um, so go further down. 
I use the wooden pickaxe on these blocks and then I'll use the stone when we actually get to the materials we need. So there's the sound to let us know there's a cave system in the area. We're literally right above it. Right, so this is uh, tin. This tin is used also for cabling, also making different parts and machines. Oh, found the oil. Um, we won't worry about that. We'll just continue going down. We'll find more when we get into the cave. So we should get into a cave soon. Oop. Um, so, right, I need to remember where I came out. That's fine, it's there. Oh no, this isn't it. Right, I've come out the oil line, that's fine. So, I can just jump straight down. Okay, so don't try and mine underwater because it takes so much longer. So get your flying on and then try and get out. There we go. So, uh, just let me just give you a little tour around what we've got. Obsidian, of course, that's vanilla. So this is tin here. Let's just jump on there and collect this. Of course, you've got your vanilla ores, lapis and diamond. Um, we need to get some diamonds as soon as we can as well. I'm just going to take a couple of blocks out of the wall so I can get in there. Lapis has got a rel relatively good uh, EMC value, so when we start to transmute things, um, which is basically using other items with the, an EMC value to change, um, we can use this as it's got a good value. Uh, if you just hover over, it shows you the EMC value. 864 planks have got 8. Like, maybe a seal's got 20,000. But we had that from last time. Tin ore is... I uh, don't have an EMC value because it's not uh, included in the equivalent exchange. Um, so, yeah, a cobblestone's got 1. So, when we get into making, like, a quarry, we can actually... Uh, use the cobble going straight into a machine that will get us better things because we don't need cobble after a little while um, we need it initially but you know after a little while it's not necessary to have uh, some coal nothing special there my texture for uh, Thumbcraft's actually out of date I need to update it um, I tried to make it work but it didn't wouldn't have it so that will look a bit odd for now until I can get that updated. So we've got some more stuff here. So we've got a little few different things. Uh, this is nickelite. This is used in red power. And one thing you'll notice is I can't mine it. That's because we need an iron pickaxe for above. mine it and it's just taking a while because I'm in the water let's try and block this off right little tip for you guys if you want to block off water easily where the source box coming down dig one bo block below put down some some dirt just to sort out the flow uh, here's not going to work very well because it's naturally going a bit funny. So yeah, let's just give it a go. So yeah, dig one block down. Oh, look what I found already. <laughs> um, dig one block down, put a little bit around the edges. And then as soon as you get rid of it, Try and control the flow a little bit. Like this. And then as soon as you get rid of it, because it's going straight down, it should stay there. Like that. This is a bit of a tricky one because it's a bit odd shaped. Um, so if I put a block down, hopefully, yep, it will stay like that. And do the same thing here. Take it away because it's got a block going straight down, it will stay like it. So let's just put some more in here. Get rid of this. And 
That'll stay there now. Just do that. Get rid of these here. And get rid of this. And get rid of this one here. Because it always flows is it always flows to the nearest hole basically. So um, as long as you've got a hole, you can take away the sides. So you should be fine. Um, so we've got diamond here, but we need iron tools to get that. So we'll leave that until we come back down again. Uh, some more copper, we can have that. But there's there's a lot of stuff, guys. And um, thank you everyone for watching. I will cover more of this next episode. Look at all this. Look. I'm going to cover all of this stuff. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you've learned a bit about some ores and things. And I'll see you all next time. We'll get more into it and I'll teach you what those ones are and those ones and that one and stuff. So I'm going to go make myself an iron pickaxe. Come back down and I'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.